Hi everyone. Today I am going to share a little bit about my latest favorite. It's called Life Size. And this book is so super cool because it has in it illustrations of animals or parts of animals that are actual size. So you can see and compare um, the actual size of these animals. So even the cover itself is the actual size of a panda's face. So your kids can look and compare, see how they can see eye to eye with a panda head. Isn't that so cool? So I'm just gonna go through and share some of the awesome things inside Life Size. This is awesome. So right here at the beginning, this is the actual size of an elephant's toenail. Not the whole foot, that's too big. But this is the actual size of an elephant toenail. Isn't this so cool? So you can, your kids can look and compare, put their little toes on there and compare with an elephant toenail. Um, and it goes in too to share um, just kind of details and things about the animals they're sharing with us. And then the next one, so anytime in the book, so you have your writing and everything, but anytime in the book that you see the word life size really big, that's where you're looking at something that is actual size. So the next thing is this actual size, sorry, bee hummingbird, which is the world's smallest bird. So look, here's my finger. Is that crazy? My daughter loved this one. She's three, so her fingers are like this big and it's like almost the exact same length, like including the little beak. Okay, so there's the hummingbird. Next, again, you see the word life size. This is showing the size, sorry, it's so big. Um, the size of the polar bear's paw. Boop. How crazy is that? So fun, right? And it goes on to tell some um, facts about the polar bears and talks a little bit about narwhals who live there too. And then the next one, see there's the word life size. You've got lamp rays. So those aren't, those are fairly small. If I hear lamp ray, I don't think I was picturing something just, you know, this long. I'm trying to help you see using my own body, but so. That's the next one. Then we've got the Toko Toucan's beak. So not the full, full bird, but whoop, the actual size of a toucan's beak. And then talks a little bit about where the toucan lives. And then we see the actual size of this Cuban parakeet right here. And then these life-size toadies, toddies, I'm not entirely sure, these little birds. Then you've got, this one's really cool, life-size giant squid eye. Look at that compared to my head, you guys. This is the size of a giant squid eye. Look, I think it's, it's bigger than my head. If I can get this right. Ooh, what? So cool, right? And then it's got a little like peek through. You can peek your head in there. See what it's like to look out from a squid. And then also right here, life size jellyfish. Teeny, teeny, it is the smallest jellyfish in the world. The, I'm gonna butcher it. Iru kanji <laughs> jellyfish. Life size, look at right there. And then, whoa, tentacles go all the way around the page. Sorry, I'm not as good at showing this book because it's so big. Um, and also, teeny, teeny, teeny down here, the life-size pea crab. Look at that. Isn't this so cool, you guys? Okay, the next one. Look out. This is the life-size tiger roar. How big they're mouth is when they roar. Do you see how massive that is? Like, look at my head. My head could be right in here, right inside this tiger's mouth. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm freaking out about that one, about this one. It's cool, isn't it, Kira? Thanks for watching. So, um, yeah, I actually got this book as a gift. We have a birthday party on Wednesday, 
and I'm definitely gonna get us one too. And I hope she doesn't mind me showing it before I give it, but it's so cool. Okay, so that was the tiger. And then it talks about, a little bit about the environment the tiger lives in, and then here's a life-size tiger centipede. That is a big bug, you guys. Can you imagine seeing a centipede that big? And then um, a life-size right down here, life-size leaf insect. And kind of compare there. And next, giraffe face head. There we go. So cool. Ooh, again, look at my little head. Super cool, and it shows the long tongue. Like, look at that tongue. Can you imagine having a tongue that long? Like, that's crazy. And then again, talks a little bit about the giraffe and what kind of world they live in. And then we've got this life-size male ri uh, lizard that they share. So that kind of gives you perspective there. And then we've got some duck down low, life-size kangaroo ears. Ooh, there we go. Pop, pop. So those are big, right? <laughs> And then again, more animals that live there. Um, right here, we've got the life-sized scorpion, desert scorpion. And then, this is really cool that I love too, here at the end, it compares some of the animals we just saw. Okay, so check this out. Look at the giant squid next to the giraffe. That's how they would compare. Is that crazy? And then the elephant, so crazy. It tells you some more facts, and then also you see this bar along here. This is showing how many of these books. So the giant squid is 60 of these books lined up. And then it, it, it goes on to show the other animals. So not all of them, but some of the other animals we talked about. All of these, and then look, if you look. Okay, this might be hard. Right here, according to this scale, is the hummingbird <laughs> on this scale of size next to all these guys okay so that is a little look at the life-size book definitely my latest obsession we think it's pretty cool um so yeah so i just wanted to share that today before i have to gift it but um we'll definitely be getting our own copy huh do you have anything you want to say yeah what do you want to say i want to read yeah, we'll read. Um, so thanks so much for watching. Hit me up if you have any questions. Also, there is a life-size dinosaur book as well where you can see different types of dinosaurs and different parts of dinosaurs as well. So that's life-size. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.